In today's video, we're going to talk about the advantages of thread milling over tapping. I'm joined by one of the experts from Vargas and we're going to tell you more. So fundamentally, why would you thread mill against tap? Okay, good question. Um, we've got a lot of advantages and answers for that particular question. Okay, it gives us full control over the threading process. Okay, and that's done by the form of a thread milling program. It also gives us the ability to thread externally as well as internally, right hand and left hand. And it also gives us the opportunity to thread more than one diameter and one particular profile. Okay, if it's a solid thread mill for argument's sake, you can thread 1.5 in a variety of diameters, where with a tap you're stipulated to one particular diameter. So it opens up the inventory without having to hold so many taps to do to be able to produce so many different diameters and different Sure, and, and I guess you've got very little control over the fit on a tap. You haven't, no. I mean, once you hit that, that start button on the tap, it goes down and it cuts to whatever size it cuts at. The, another advantage that you've got with thread milling is that with an offset adjustment, we can open up that thread. So if you wanted to do a pre-plate thread, say, or something like that to, uh, on a component, or if you run down with a tap and it cuts tight, that's it. You know, there's, there's no going back to, to widen it or anything like that. So all we have to do is put an offset in onto the program. We can widen that up. Also, again, if the tap breaks and it's an expensive component and predominantly tapping is always one of the last procedures to be machined, that it either has to be sparked out or it has to be drilled out here. Yeah. With, a, with a thread mill, as you can see, because we go in and we circle the interpolate round, the thread mill's a lot smaller than the hole. Mm -hmm. Fitted into. And in terms of thread, and you've got one of the largest range out there, haven't you? You've got indexable and both solid shanks. So maybe tell us a little bit about the range. We have for the smaller ones, starting as standard Arlex stock in the UK. Uh, we start with a D1T, which is a single tooth multi flute. Okay, so on the harder materials, there's less radial push off. Okay, we have a D3T again for the smaller ones, but this time it's three teeth multi flute again. Then we go up to the one that we've got on here, which is the multi flute. Okay. This is a really nice tool, this one. But relatively new to our offerings is this particular tool, seven flutes. Okay. But what that does is, as you can see on here, seven flutes, but it's multi-passes. So we've got nice short chips coming out of there. Low speed, but very, very high feed. Almost a similar you know, think, thought process to trichoidal milling, isn't it? Exactly. That's exactly what it is, Joe, yeah. Yeah, and although you're taking more passes, the cycle time's ultimately reduced up to 40%. We're taking more passes, but because we're only taking little depth of cut, we can increase the feed rate on that. So as we can see on here, yeah, for up to 40%. And also, you know, the, the, the more challenging the materials, the bigger the advantages of this tool, these tools, isn't it? Definitely, yes. Because, because we're only taking such a short depth of cut, but a high feed rate that... There's no radial push off on the machines. Therefore, we've got a lot more control over the thread. We've got a lot better control over the finish as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the only reason people ever give me for not using thread mills, they, the main barrier to entry is the programming. And I know, uh, you know, the software, that's something you can help with at Vargas. We do, yeah. We have the, uh, our Vargas Genius. Okay. And it not only, it's not only a tool selector, but it also gives us a CNC program as well for, to uh, help us talk us all the way through all the programming. Okay, so let's let's do one. M6, okay. you know, M10 but M6B1 10 mil deep in just steel. Okay, so what we'll do is we would uh, click on to thread milling. Okay, gives us up there. So internal right hand mm -hmm. metric, and it gives us a pitch. So we'll scroll down to one millimeter. There we go. Okay, then it's going to ask us the thread size, the nominal size, or we can put our own size in that as well. So we scroll down and pick up six millimeter, you said, Joe? Yeah. Okay, then it's going to ask us for the depth. So the depth ten is mil. 10 mil. And what it's doing here is it's, it'll give us a little bit of a story at the right hand side. It's now put us onto the material, so we'll just pick a standard steel P4. Okay, so it's going through the motions and now it's given us, and with that, there's 16 different applications, wow, okay. yeah. tool combinations for that particular tool. We'll pick a D3T. So is this no. an app or is it web-based? Or This is web-based and it's also app-based as well, so you can get it on your phone, mm -hmm. you can get it on your iPad, so on and so forth. We have the 
facility with a with a drilled hole. If we can't do it without a drilled hole, it will only give us the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Okay. We've got two methods here, climb and conventional. So we'll pick on the climb. Continuous and actual divide. The reason for that being is sometimes materials and also to aid with tool life on the particular tool. Okay, and then also now we've got a multiple pass system mm -hmm. as well. So we'll just pick one pass. Okay, radial pass is one. Okay, then it gives us our minimum and maximum speeds and feeds. So, okay, so at this it's picked 75 meters a minute, which gives us uh, a speed range of just short of 5,000 revs. So that's quite important, isn't it? So it's, it's one thing giving you the program, it's giving you the data as well. It's giving you all the data as well, but what we're actually giving is, it's giving you a minimum and a maximum. Mm -hmm. So we start mid-range because one thing that the software can't do is it's not there at the job, it can't see the application or the setup. Okay. So we've got the feed rate in there as well. Okay, this is a tool entry of what the tool arcs in at, which is 30% the feed rate. The retraction, that's how far it is above the job. Okay, and then it gives us the ability to pick the controller, whether it be FANUC, we'll go for FANUC, just on a G code. Okay, then it gives us the option for the center of the tool or the mm -hmm. peripheral, peripheral. And then just a couple of things, we can just leave these as they are now, but this is just so the operator or programmer knows where the tool is, so he will have to put his tool offset sure. into there, and then the next one, which will be his radial offset. Okay, so we click through to that, and then what brings up is, we get the cutting time, okay, and then we have a summary. So we've got the part number, we've got all the details and everything that are there. As we scroll down, we have all the cutting data, Speeds, feeds, but most importantly, when we get to the bottom, we've got what most people are looking for, and that's the program. Sure, so it, it, it's good to point out this can be done the, the job before, can't it? You know what job you've got coming next, the, the, the machine's in cycle, you know, let's, let's program the next job. Exactly, this is a project engineer's best friend. You can get a cycle time for it, they can, they can do quotations via this piece of software, everything. So really, looking at this software, there's no reason not to consider thread milling as a viable option. Maybe you're a little reticent, scared of, of the programming cycle. It, it's taken, what, maybe two or three minutes there? Definitely. And you can't break the software. You know, if something's wrong or it says no, or there's an error, then you just go back to start, you know, or you just phone the office or one of the external guys, and we, we can talk our way through it. Or better still, phone up Vargas and get them to send you the program. We can do it, yep, yeah, that as well. It's an option. <laughs> there you are, thanks for your time today. Okay. So there we are, hope you've enjoyed today's video. Some of the advantages of thread milling against tapping. And thank you for watching.